Hi everyone, I'm Vandana Rai from Immigration Advisors and here today to answer the questions on, that we've been receiving last couple of days and weeks on your partnership application. So here we are, I'll start taking the questions that we've already received. So the question which, we, which I received was that um, I have heard that uh, we have to live together for 12 months but my wife has only got a nine months visa. So how do I wait for 12 months before I apply for her work visa and she's still here on a visitor visa. Uh, so here, the, the instruction for the 12 months is for a residence, a partnership based residence application. The duration of nine months is not for a partnership based work visa. So for all those who are, who are there in New Zealand and partners have received a nine months general visitor visa, allowing them to come to New Zealand and live together with the with the partners don't really have to wait for the 12 months period and there is no specific time frame given there on how much are they you know, are they supposed to wait so if they've been here and the relationship is genuine and they are they they have enough evidence to put a tick on all those on those places month two month there's no there's no criteria of the duration of the time yes the evidence you provide to immigration should clearly Confirm to the case officer that yes, the relationship is genuine and that you have been living together here in New Zealand. We've managed to get our clients, partners, get a work visa when they come to New Zealand within a few months. So definitely um, the, the couple is newly married or they would, the partner would have been new to New Zealand and the supporting partner would be busy in their own life commitments, their work commitments. And in this space, if the partner is on a visitor visa with, with no work rights, it, I, I do understand that it gets really, really very uh, tough for them to make a social circle and, and they don't have a, a support system here in New Zealand because the family would be offshore in their own home country. So the sooner we can get them a work visa is really good for them, not only from a financial perspective, but also from the perspective of making them gel into the society, um, gives a more kind of a reassurance to the supporting partner that they really don't have to worry about the partner who's been in the house throughout on a, on a visitor visa and not really able to gel in within the society. So all those who have partners on a visitor visa um, and don't know when to apply for a work visa, do a process. Probably after I see the documents that you have, could advise you whether you need to wait more or will you have enough evidence to apply for a work visa. So I'll start taking the questions. Sachip Thapa, I've applied for partnership visa about three months ago. How much more time will be required for my visa decision? Thank you. So hi Sachip, um, from your name, I presume that uh, your partner, you know, probably would be in Nepal and if that is so the applications would have been processing in in India and I am aware that there is a delay uh, in the partnership uh, processing that has been taking place in uh, in India the reason being that the Delhi office which was dealing with all the partnership applications uh, is is closed and is no longer functional from 31st of March uh, will no longer be functional from 31st March but the applications that partnership applications um, have already been transferred to to Mumbai and um, they were put on hold for for some time and Mumbai would start allocating them to the case officers uh, from this month till about May so there has been a delay in processing but hopefully would be processed somewhere between March to May hold on make sure that uh, whatever you've submitted uh, covers everything and then you your application is actually decision ready so when the when the visa officer is allocated and your file is open there is no further delay so if you've you've had an advisor i'm sure um, they would have taken care and ensured that the application is decision ready but if you've submitted the application yourself and you're not too sure whether you've added on and you've put everything that was needed in there, I would suggest get in touch with an advisor. You can approach us. Why I say so is because at times the applicants don't know what to what to put. So probably they would put communication record, say probably 5,000 pages, thinking that, wow, um, that's a lot of evidence. But probably don't realize whether any of the documents submitted needs translation, whether all those documents need translation, probably not. But 
just a way of making your application decision ready. If instead of giving all those 5,000 pages, if there's a, if, if, the, if the conversations are highlighted, the conversations which confirm probably a discussion about future life together, uh, probably a discussion about um, social responsibilities or um, sharing of the family responsibilities, or a discussion about some social obligations, probably it gives a clarity to the case officer and the application probably would be decided faster rather than just putting in all 5,000 pages of the of the, of the the conversation with majority of them just being good night, love you, miss you. Probably that, you know, that information holds less value than, than what the visa officer would need to, to put a tick and, you know, approve or decide the application immediately. So I would suggest I, I am aware that there's been a long delay in in applications that are being processed in in New Delhi and have now been transferred to Mumbai. Hopefully uh, these applications by the June this year would be transferred onshore and would be eventually processed in Hamilton and, and the, the applications would be streamlined. There wouldn't be this long a delay but till then hold on hopefully the decision would come fast if you have any concerns on the documents you've submitted not to show please get in touch we'll help you decide that so there's another question we've received from mohit uh, and this is i'm on open work visa and my wife is in india we were in relationship for last four years we got engaged and did court marriage in december 18 in presence of all the family members we have all the photos whatsapp chats and family photos, but we did not get a chance to stay together. Our cultural marriage is also scheduled within two, two months. Is it possible to apply partner visa now? Will she get a visitor visa or work visa? So, hi Mohit. So your question, it covers probably two, three important aspects, which I'm sure will help others as well. So if you've got uh, married definitely and uh, if you got married and the relationship is genuine and you feel that it's most likely to be endured from your perspective definitely you are you know the partner is, is eligible to apply for a partnership based visa um, no she would definitely never get a work visa because there there's been no evidence of living together you've not lived together with your wife till now but yes, you can apply for a partnership-based visitor visa uh, or a work visa, but immigration in most likelihood would uh, approve a, a general visitor visa provided they are convinced that the relationship is genuine and it's only that you've not had a chance to live together with your wife. But to do so, there are a few, few, few other things with the visa officer would probably like a clarity on. First, the relationship has been for has been for four years. Then why why a court marriage? Probably more explanation. So what I say um, for a decision ready application. So if it is if it has to be submitted as a decision ready application, more information must go in there. Why court marriage? Why generally uh, in your community in that culture, um, cultural marriage is is what happens and the, and the registration happens later. So if it has been a court marriage please explain um, the reasons for the same it could be your work commitments didn't have that much of time had just, you know, just decided there could be some opposition from some family members for whatever reason probably there wasn't any auspicious day for those cultural marriages at times whatever it is there has to be a clarity around that space why did the registration uh, why was marriage registered and the cultural marriage would be scheduled two months uh, after the from now or whatever so um, more clarity on that probably will give a confidence to the case officer that yes despite these things which have happened which are not um, not a natural or a normal trend in that space but despite that the relationship is genuine and enough evidence of last four years of your relationship um, would also be needed to be given so i would say this is not one of the applications where you can just submit and it gets approved if you are unable to explain to the case officer of on the reasons of of the turn of events being the way they have been probably the application may not be approved so i would say get in touch with an advisor if you need my assistance more than happy to help you but probably it must be submitted as a decision ready application with with 
as much evidence as possible, giving reasons for the turn of events that have happened. Mm -hmm. So Ankit Bhatia. Hi, I'm Ankit Bhatia. I'm on a visitor visa in New Zealand since 27th Jan, and my wife is here on a fugitive level eight course since October 2018. Am I eligible for work visa? If yes, what uh, should be the right time to apply for it? Hi, Ankit. Um, so uh, thanks for this question. Uh, it will probably help others as well. I, I, I read that your wife is here since October 2018. So definitely your wife started the course before the rules changed. The so rules changed on 26th November. That means your wife, uh, she applied for or started the course before 26th of November. So you fall under the previous category of rules, which allow you to be eligible for a partnership-based work visa uh, as a partner of a student who's doing a level eight program. So definitely you are eligible uh, and uh, you've been here since 27th Jan. Um, so I, I don't think you will have to wait too long. So I would say immediately get in touch with me and I probably would be able to assist you with your partnership based work visa applications, which, which could be submitted soon, provided we get all the documents, but I think that's a possibility. Shagun Sidhu, hi, it has been more than one year about relationship living together. My partner is Kiwi and my visa expired October 18. If I apply my residence visa April, should I need to apply work visa again? How much the immigration took time for residence visa decisions? Thanks. So if you've been living together for more than uh, 12 months, you must apply for your partnership based residence application as soon as possible. And um, there is a possibility that the application is decided before October, uh, probably um, submit at information as much as possible, giving as much evidence of the relationship, genuine and stable, and the evidence of living together, ensure that the application is decision ready. So it is it is processed at the earliest whenever it is allocated. In mm -hmm. case the decision is not received by October, then probably or before that, and there may be a requirement to apply for another uh, partnership based work visa. Uh, if, because you, you must maintain your lawful status while, while being in New Zealand. So, any further questions? Okay. So we are about to finish the session. I'll no, I'll cover the questions that are there. But most welcome. If you if I missed out on answering your questions, if I missed out or misunderstood whatever you you written, please feel free to email us uh, your questions, and I'll make sure that they are answered as well. So I'm covering everything. So thanks a lot for being here today and being taking part in this live question answer session. Uh, it was really you know, a good interactive session. I enjoyed answering your questions. So uh, those or those who, who questions have not been able to answer or probably not given you enough clarity, feel free to email me and I, I would be happy to happy to respond to your queries. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me.